Mike Shuley here coming to you from nextlevelguitar.com. What is up? It's this is in the style of one of my favorite guitar players, Mr. Joe Pass. Uh, legend. If you have not checked him out, you definitely should because he is like the godfather of jazz guitar. And I have a really, really cool inspired by lesson where one of his most famous solos off of the wonderful standard, All the Things You Are. So we're going to break down this uh, inspired by solo and show you the really cool concepts and choral things and uh, movements that's going on. So, hey, what's up everybody? If you guys would like a free video lesson that is not on YouTube with a coinciding ebook, make sure and click on that link you see below in the YouTube text box. Just follow those screens and you will get a free video lesson from us courtesy of nextlevelguitar.com. Okay, let me first show you the chord structure that this uh, inspired by solo is uh, based off of. So the first chord is going to be F minor. I'm playing an F minor 9 here at my uh, A fret. Okay. So then it's going to be B flat minor 7th to E flat dominant 7th. So then I'm adding a 9th in there. To A flat major 7th. Then we have a D flat major 7th. Again, I'm adding a 9th. Then we have G seventh, or G seven altered, playing that sharp five there, to uh, C major seventh, the nine or six nine or however you want to voice that. The first like section we're playing over is this F minor to B flat to E flat uh, seventh, and that's the first part of this lick is going to sound something like this. I'll play it for you slow. at your A flat note here at your ninth fret and you're gonna kind of do this like hammer off slur pull off so you're gonna pick the first note pull off and then you can pick the last two notes so it sounds like this kind of up the tempo okay and with your pinky here you're gonna with your F sharp at the G string and you're gonna go up grab the A here to your B flat and make B flat minor seventh arpeggio and then you're gonna go up like kind of chromatically to your G and we're moving into the second part you're gonna grab your B flat with your first finger. Then you're gonna go back and then just go up to the C here like this. And then from the C, we're gonna do a little chromaticism here, which goes like this. Just like that. You can pick it or slur it. That's the second part. Okay, now we're moving into the third part. Pay attention to the, the fingering. Okay, so it's just landing at your third fret of your G string and then here we're going to play like a uh, D flat major arpeggio starting from the F which goes you're going to add the 9 in there which is the E flat just like that then you're going to grab the D that's going to be the like the the fourth movement there 
from the D flat, you just go D flat, D flat, F, A flat, B flat to the B. Then this the second part you're gonna play from here. going to be making a G major arpeggio in uh, the uh, just in different inversions all G major arpeggio that's going to be the uh, the arpeggios that we're going to use so I'll break it down for you so I have the G major first here starting at your uh, D note starting from D and you just go up you switch it to G and B, and then you go to B. Then D is our last note. And that's the whole lick there. You have the whole uh, inspired by solo. And what's really, really cool about this is that when you play it just by itself, you can hear the chords going by in this, uh, solo, pro uh, this solo here. You can actually hear the chords going by without the chords actually being played. And that is really the marking of a master. I mean, master improvisers do not need any chords at all. They could just solo and you can hear the whole progression of the song. And that's because Joe Pass is a master of putting, you know, chord tones and really strong beats and just being able to play really freely while still adhering to a strict chordal structure. Mike Shuley here from nextlevelguitar.com. Don't forget to check out the website. We have over 1,300 video lessons and growing, and I have all sorts of my own lessons on there. We go over like jazz, chordal stuff. We have a bunch of more soloing concepts and really cool scales, and a bunch of more videos that you should definitely check out, and uh, I think you would definitely like it. So yeah, guys, take care, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Yeah.